Olga, your mamas are coming. One of the silver, the other one, and the two black boys. She's finally, finally accepting them and taking care of them. After the sweet, sweet sister. Yes. You took care of them for a few days, huh? You're a good sister. I'm telling you. I'm telling you this too. There's something going on there. Something is happening. Well, I'm gonna have to come back to clean this, but I'm gonna let them nap for a bit longer. Oh, my sweet girl. Stop it. She's my girl. You are my girl too. But I can't. My twins are so, so cute. Do you want to give me kisses? Fine. You can give me kisses. I came for Auntie Annabelle. I haven't seen Annabelle to the cud in a little bit. But I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna watch her. Just to make sure she's okay. You okay? That's your mama. In case you haven't noticed, that's your mama, baby girl. You okay, Annie? Are you okay? Just one pet? Okay. You see something bothering you or you just tired? You're just tired? The cleanest arm in the world I'm gonna have. You okay? She's moving, so I scratch her when she, wherever she wants to be scratched. Stop She still has her ligaments. It was the weird position. They're getting soft and squishy, kind of gooey, and so she's not in the right position. It's very hard to tell if they're there or not. You ready to have babies, honey? Are you? Okay. That's good if you're ready. No, my sweet Clara. Okay, maybe my sweet Clara too. Oh, good mama, Clara. <laughs> Excuse you, Annabelle? Oh my gosh. Your hooves need to be trimmed. Not right now, though. And Clara is like extra sweet with Hannibal. Yesterday and today, she's been kind of on her. Yeah, you being a good mama. Yeah, you're a good mom, Clara. My baby. 
There are babies in the belly. See, there's a little poop here. Hi, baby hoots. Sarah, please stop. Please stop eating my camera. Such a good mama. Such a good mama to your girls. Mm -hmm. Such a good mama to your girls. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, look at this. Look at Clara. She really is loving on Annabelle, and Annabelle is not fighting her. Which is the weirdest thing in the world. Look. Kind of bump heads. But they spend all day together. Her udder is starting to fill up. It's not all the way. You know, Clara, look at that. I mean, look at that. They just love each other so much. And Annabelle is not that kind of lovey, dovey goat. But Clara really wants to be sweet to Annabelle. I'm sure she sent us something. Athena, are you saying hi to the ducks? Say hi, duckies. My name is Baby Girl Athena. Say hi to the ducks. Those are the boys. Say hi, boys. Such a beautiful day to be outside enjoying life. Your Auntie Annabelle is here. I know, I know. You're pawing me so I kiss you, but listen, your Auntie Annie here, she's about to have children and she's about to lose her single lifestyle. Yeah, you will lose it too, soon. When you get pregnant. I think she's regretting it. Regretting having so many children in that belly she dropped quite a bit I don't know if you remember I'm gonna try to put the picture from the other day all this is her dropping and uh, yeah she's very very needy and when I'm not here she's very very tired she typically is very, very hungry, and she hasn't been for the last two days. So I'm assuming that she doesn't have much room for her food, since the babies are probably pushing on her room. And oh, motherhood. Such a normal thing for a dairy goat. Yes. Annabelle has such a great, I mean, how can I say this? And um, <laughs> she doesn't like me to touch it, her tattoos. Um, in like the way the attachments and everything, it's, it's, it could be better, even though this is her second freshening and she still has room for improvement. Um, uh, but she has so much milk and her udder is so soft and she relaxes so much while she's on the milking stand that I can milk her so, so fast. Uh, compared to Mocha who has even more capacity, maybe because she just had quads and Annabelle only had a single one last year but you know even with a single one last year I'm telling you Annabelle was putting <laughs> not patient 
not patient with Brie. Um, Annabelle is putting was putting the same amount that Mocha was putting on the in the pail with twins, but I think Mocha had more that she was holding on to because she was such a, you know worried about these two girls last year and being able to feed them, but. This girl, she had one boy. She may not have the structure that Mocha has in her udder. But she's so easy to milk and there's so much milk. She is so like good in the stand. Uh, she's very, very busy eating. Um, so she doesn't really kick or does anything. Mocha is a little bit more fidgety and so it's it's kind of crazy how different udders and you know, difference in babies. Uh, yet I enjoy milking Annabelle so so much, and I love how soft her udder is, and I love how she lets down her milk like as soon as she steps on the milking stand. I absolutely love it. Is there room for improvement? Most definitely. And that's why we brought Poseidon or Dom who has great genetics and his mom has great otter, like his grandma, amazing otter, his dad. I mean, from everywhere. They have great attachments and capacity. So we're only hoping to improve on animals. Hi, Athene. Hi, girlfriend. Hi. Oh, see, I'm telling you. She's just so worried about Annabelle. Why are you so worried about her? She's just gonna have children, like you did, remember? Everything will be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Mm-hmm. We got her, huh? You be the sweet mama that you are? <laughs> yes. Just like this girl. Who is the sweetest girl in the world. I swear. You have the best of your mom and your be the best of your daddy. She really does. Are we going to have tons of girls in that belly? Look, look, look at her tail, look. Okay, there you go. It almost seems like she's having contractions. Are you? Are you having contractions, honey? Tell me you're I just... Hi, oh, that's your sister. Be nice. That is your sister. Oh, is that your belly? Okay, that's a good thing, right? Noisy belly? You want some massage? Oh, there we go. We'll massage the belly. So sweet every time I pet her belly. <clears throat> Can you hear her? <laughs> hear? I can feel her rumen. But down here, it's hard as a rock. Such a beautiful afternoon. What do you say? Probably in the 70s now, it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon, somebody pooped there for us, just to make a better background. Hi Athene, hi my sweet girl.
I love you, big girl. You need a good shower. Oh, your daddy. Gotta love rocks. He meets some beautiful children. Beautiful and sweet. Where are your brothers slash children of yours? You're such a big good sister. <laughs> She's trying to do what Brie does. You're such a good big sister. So, it is 2.47. We finally put her in a kidding stall about an hour ago or so. She was having a little bit still left of ligaments, but she was hiding behind the goat house 